Good morning. Very excited today. Probably could already tell that from the thumbnail. Before we get into the opulence eyeshadow palette, yesterday I tried to film a follow along Asandra Deluxe a tutorial but she was speaking about the time in Milan Italy where she did a brand trip with Pat McGrath Labs and I just saw Jackie Ina did one yesterday but before I knew Jackie had uploaded her video I wanted to do the one with Sandra did the footage did everything and my audio was not syncing and her videos audio was weird so I had to scrap the whole project I still want to do it but I wanted to share that because I, I had so much fun doing it but uh, my material was just like so instead we're gonna talk about opulence <laughs> If you want to see swatches maybe an eye demo or two I don't even have makeup on we'll do one eye one palette the other the other palette you know have fun with it and take it from there let's get started I walked into Sephora yesterday as I always do it was the 16th and I remember the date on the post I saw on Treadmood say uh, the 18th. I saw these suckers on the gondola. I think that's what it's called officially and I was like <gasps> I just picked them all up. I didn't think about it I maybe just watched one color and went straight to check out and then one of the Sephora associates like all of them I was like mm -hmm. Don't know if you know that I have all paths palettes and I'm not stopping. I didn't see the lipsticks Okay, this is a part of her whole holiday collection called Opulence. Each eyeshadow palette pairs with a lipstick trio that takes on the same color scheme as the palettes. So you'll have a trio of lipsticks that look pink, trio that looks blue, and a trio that looks red. From the looks of it, and I'm terribly sorry because I, you probably already saw I'm at Maddie's house. I don't have decadence with me. I only have bronze seduction and sublime so unfortunately i really wanted to do swatches and comparisons with those with that palette but you know i'll just get back on when i'm at home with decadence and we'll do it again does that sound like a plan each palette is 55 dollars as opposed to her big mothership palettes that go for whopping 125 i could have waited because pat mcgrath has a payment plan on her website uh, maybe she would have a bundle deal, but I, the impatience and just my anxiousness to dive in right away kept me from even thinking reasonably about waiting and paying less. Instant gratification can do several things to the mind. Let's just start, well, I'm gonna start randomly, how about that? This one is called Mothership Subliminal. So also might I know that <sighs> so much to talk about. Throughout her eyeshadow palette collection, you have an underlying theme. The first three Mothership palettes that released were Sublime, Subliminal, and Subversive. Subliminal, I believe, is the one with the blue shade. And all throughout, even with her earlier minis that released, that palette pattern took on the same design as the bigger Mothership package. But it was all taupes and dark smoky shade which continued the the color story from the bigger mothership palette now this one is called dark star and this is blue now this design does not take on the same graphics as the original subliminal palette package but if you open her up you see that you have blues in here so it's a continuation of the blue story in the original subliminal palette you have two names mothership subliminal but this one is called Dark Star, which I love. And the packaging, you just have like the jewels. It looks like crown jewel design all over the package with the pop of red for the closure and the elastic band. I think it is gorgeous. Total net weight, we got 0.12 grams of product or 0.42 ounces of product. This palette is made in the USA has a 12 month expiration shelf life. You got your shade overlay to let us know which is which. I always have to make sure I do this right because for some reason I like mix these suckers up. You still have a mirror, which I think is fairly like a reasonable size. Of course, when you prop it up, the angle of the box allows the mirror to stay upright some. So you can always set this up to be 
your face mirror while doing your makeup. Ooh, I want to make sure, hold on. I like to go on the Pat McGrath Labs website because she outlines the shade description and I like to read them while I do my swatches, you know what I'm saying? Interesting, I don't see it on here. Maybe when the palette becomes available for purchase that they'll have the shade description. It's all right, I try to do this on my own. <laughs> First up we have Entice. Entice looks like a gold shade. I have to say though, ooh, it kind of looks like there's a touch of pink involved when you turn it in the light. This I feel has a thinner consistency than the other metallic shade in here as you'll see. Still a beautiful shade, maybe won't rely it to be my standout lid color but maybe could layer it over the metallic shade to add a little dimension. Next up we have Deep Space. Beautiful gray shade that takes on a little bit of a blue tone to it. I think it's gonna be a gorgeous crease color. Next up, we have Enraptured. This is a beautiful creamy consistency that I'm used to experiencing from Pat. This is like a deep gold shade. It has so much body to it. So you can see how just from my arm, this is a lot thinner than Enraptured, I would probably layer over this or just use that as my inner corner highlight. Gorgeous, gorgeous shade. This is something else, this is Dark Matter. I think she has a set or a color already called Dark Matter, but I, ooh, that's pretty. Ooh. And from the pan, I think this is like a satin shade, a satin black. It has a little bit of a sheen when I see it up close because she already has black matte shadows in all her original motherships, just one through three, not in decadence or bronze deduction. This is Metropolis, which I love. That's the name of that movie. Oh, that's pretty. Oh man. Ooh, beautiful deep amethyst shade. Oh, God, I love it. Or maybe I should say deep plum. Maybe this is more plum than amethyst. You let me know down below. Lastly, we have interstellar. <sighs> this has a lot of different, interesting. I, you know what's funny? I think I had Metropolis still on my finger. I'm gonna take a clean finger, do interstellar again, right next to that first swatch. Ooh. It's so weird. On camera, it looks blue, but it has a purple shift to it. When I do this, it looks blue in this light right here. But right in front of it, it definitely looks blue. Wow, that's a cool shade, man. I cannot wait to try that on. And I think looking at it now after I swatch the pan, it looks purple. But when you first see it, like on camera, Depending on how you move the shade, I know on camera right now it looks blue, friends, but in a different angle, it's purple. That's pretty neat, Pat. I like what you do it. That is the Dark Star palette. Cannot wait to crack into that sucker. Next up, we have Metal Morphosis. Metal Morphosis. Got it housed in pink with the same kind of crown jewel design, although it's arranged. Is it arranged a little differently? I think they're different jewels. Like this one has like a deeper curl to it and this one has like smaller curls. I'm, I don't know if you care about those details, but I just kind of <laughs> wanted to point it out. <laughs> Made in the USA, 12 month expiration shelf life, also 0.12 grams and 0.42 ounces of product. These are all metallic shades, and when I saw this online, I was like, oh, it's a mini decadence. I don't know if she's gonna bring decadence back, friends. I am so happy I grabbed that because it was limited edition, and I haven't seen any mention of her possibly restocking it or putting it back online, but man, I hope she does because it is such a beautiful palette, and these shades are all metallics let's get started don't waste any time metallurgy metallurgy i'm gonna put it right next to me oh that whoa the shine on that friends can i mean oh my goodness this is like a very i want to say it's an antique bronze but it doesn't take on like that green hue that sometimes antique bronzes do it's more of a it actually looks slightly pinkish. 
in the light but that's a beautiful shade consistency is beyond smooth here we got copper oh that's gorgeous i'm gonna quickly go on to pat mcgrath's website i think she might still have decadence on here because i feel that there are one or two shades in this palette that already exist in the decadence one not too sure i don't want to you know start any rumors but okay description here we go yes i knew it okay you got two shades in metamorphosis sterling and the gold standard or just gold standard which also exists in decadence so you might not be getting all the decadent shades, but you're getting two. It's not too bad. This, though, oh my god, is copper in here too? No, copper is not in the original decadence. This is a new shade for Metamorphosis. Oh, that is beyond smooth. Can you imagine? Hold on, hold on. This I have. Let's take a look at Blitz Flame. Ooh, it almost looks pink because copper is a lot more orange. And it definitely has a lot more texture. It is smooth, but I think Blitz Flame is a is a touch smoother. I think maybe just a different finish altogether. That's cool, man. Next, we have Sterling, which also exists in Decadence. Like, come on, you guys. The silver on this, it's liquid metal. I can't even imagine when you apply this on with a mixing liquid. I gotta get some of that actually. I think I wanna dive more into the mixing liquid types of things when creating eye looks. Next we have Smoked Amethyst. Ooh, what is happening? That is gorgeous and it has sparkle in it. So it's smooth like the usual metallic shade but it has those sparkles that you usually find in like her ultra glitzy shades like gigabyte and night creature that's pretty Ooh, that's nice and the sparkles are like a pink they're like a magenta purple so it it might show silver here on camera but in person it actually is pink glitter very fine very high shine and sparkly it's gorgeous next we have bronze oh that's pretty. Since we're already here, I want to go in with Bronze Blaze from Bronze Seduction. Okay, okay. Looking like Bronze from Metamorphosis is a little more orange. From Bronze Seduction is more true bronze. Good to know. Lastly, Gold Standard, which exists in Decadence. I'm so happy, you guys, if you didn't get your hands on Decadence, that you can at least experience Sterling and Gold Standard in some capacity. Like, oh my goodness. That is a gold. That's a freaking gold, man. Do I have, let me see. I have Sublime here with me. I have Subversive over there. I should have just brought Decadence. I'm so dumb. I should have known I was going to jump the gun and buy these prematurely. I didn't know Sephora was going to have them that early on the show. Ooh, we got Bronze 005 from Sublime. Let's see how that looks. I don't know if I have any room. Ooh, I'm just going to do it right in between these guys. Yeah, that definitely takes on more of a bronze hue. And this one from Metamorphosis is just like a terracotta bronze. Gold standard, you guys. I mean, that is a true yellow gold. Gold, that's it. I'm still thinking about the gold palette from our girl Natasha. And that's what I was originally going into Sephora for, to swatch it again, you know, think about it. I saw Pat's palette and it just annihilated any agenda I had for any other makeup. I was like, no, I'm just gonna buy these. And that's a wrap. Goodbye. Lastly, we have Bronze Temptation. So this is like the mini bronze palette. This is housed in red, but the design is different. You see this, you got stars on the crown jewels this time around. Also made in the USA, 12 month expiration, 0.12 grams, 0.42 ounces. All palettes have the same red elastic bungee to hold them together, same setup, and here we have Bronze Temptation. We got that green. I'm so happy I have Sublime with me so we can compare that to Blitz Emerald. Now to get this plastic overlay out of the palette, come on. First up, we have Celestial. 
Ooh, that's nice. I think the first like champagne shade out of the three we've encountered thus far. Burning Desire. I think perhaps maybe finally the lightest neutral transition shade we have from Mother Pat. Ooh, that's pretty. Very smooth as her mattes usually are. Because we're already here, I will go ahead and swatch Entrapment from Bronze Seduction for you. Just so you can see them side by side. Oh yeah, that will make a perfect transition shade for Entrapment. I'm sorry I don't have the other mini, but that's definitely not lighter than Burning Desire for sure. I'm excited. Okay. Supernova, the green shade. Mm. Oh whoa excuse me oh my goodness look at that this definitely i feel well first of all the glitters in here are phenomenal i think a lot more teal than our sister blitz emerald how about that we're gonna swatch it next to it yeah blitz emerald i think just takes more of like that green emerald hue whereas supernova is slightly just a touch a touch bluer so you see it in the pan you automatically i don't know i thought forest green when i first saw it online for sure i actually think it takes more of a teal i don't I definitely think more of a teal because again, it was like that other shade that was shifting from blue to purple that you really couldn't tell until you swatched it. This is more teal for sure. Next up, we have Dark Paradise. Oh, that's a nice brown. We like that. How about we swatch that next to Disobedience from Bronze Seduction. Ooh, does that look more purple to you? That's interesting. And why not? We're gonna go in with Dark from Sublime. Oh, just let you know, I just swatched this freaking color. Look how dark that is. I think this will even be a transition shade for this. Because doesn't that look almost like a, a less intense version of Extreme Aubergine from Bronze Seduction? I feel like they're in the same undertone family, don't you think? These swatches don't look great. They definitely apply it better than how they swatch for sure. Uh, well, if I'm looking at it from this angle, Extreme Aubergine looks significantly more purple than Dark Paradise. But when I do this, it seems like Dark Paradise here doesn't look quite as brown as, what did I do? Disobedient. Hmm. I don't know, man. Provocatix. Oh, what is that? I don't even know how to describe that shade. Oh my God, like the shine on that. I think this is like a duochrome situation. I think it is. I don't know what colors it's changing between, but in the pan, it looks like it's gonna be your typical maybe gold champagne shade. But when you swatch it, you got a little something going on in there, like uh, a red, like, oh my God, so good. I don't even have makeup on. I don't even have my skincare on. I just rolled out of bed well that's not true i woke up this morning around 5 15 because maddie was up and i was worried that she needed to go so we went out 5 15 in the morning she did her thing i went back I felt terrible about going back to bed so i made myself edit but then i was falling asleep on my computer and decided to go back to bed which is never a, a good idea but i was i was feeling like <laughs> and then i said you listen you have to get up because the way we're facing around maybe 9 30 the sun rays are gonna come in hard and then it's just gonna like blow everything out so i wanted to get on here quickly okay let's just brush these eyebrows first i'm gonna do that i also just want to quickly conceal so i'm gonna use one oh my god dropping things thank goodness that was on a rug because that would have broke Good. I'm gonna go in with my P. Louise base. This is actually in rumor number two. I don't know where my number three is, but it's not a big deal. Actually, it might be more helpful because when you use a lighter color for your eye base, the shades are really gonna pop, and that's what we wanna see. So I'm even gonna do a very messy job because my brows are not done. They're not, uh, they don't have pencil in them, but 
because they're microbladed, I could get away with like not doing them. I do need to get the wax though. That's something that's undeniably so. Oh yeah, that's very light, but you know what? It's all gonna melt together and not look too crazy in the end. I don't know about you guys, I am dying to try Dark Star. I don't know, that gray has me wondering. <sighs> Let's see now, make sure these brushes are clean cause they never are. But I just read in someone's comment that you're really not supposed to wash your brushes uh, well the most is twice a year. I was like, really? Cause I'm all about that schedule. Going in with Deep space with my Wayne number three. Are you guys close enough? Do you want to come closer? Come on in. All right, all right, all right. Pretty is somewhat powdery in the pan, but not nothing out of the ordinary for Pat. Pat Max. Trying to be careful because when I get here with this big brush, it starts to travel a little too high for my liking. So I go slower. And then I get crazy here when I start to pull it out. That's gorgeous. I like this gray. It's like very different. And also I do feel it has, it's like a slate blue gray. It's not like primary Crayola gray. Like there's definitely a blue tint to this. I'm just deepening it up here on the outer corner cause we want to go in I don't actually know what we're gonna go in with next. I'm so overwhelmed. I wanna use all the colors, but in a strategic manner that we can kind of see them shine in their own way and not just kind of like layer them and not see anything happening, you know what I mean? I'm gonna clean off my brush. It doesn't have too much product on there and just whisk away on the edges. So those could look a little more blurred. I think we definitely have to go in with dark matter. I, I definitely think so, friends. I wanna lightly, very lightly with my Wayne number four, with that still looks very much green. Sorry about that. Gonna lightly tap. I don't wanna lose control, but the great thing is that we don't have any foundation on. So if fallout occurs, I could just wipe it away. Ooh, okay, okay. I like how that's adding really beautiful smoke and it's diffusing beautifully into deep space. Dark matter diffusing beautifully into deep space. That's really cool, man. You know what? Because this is a satin shade, I'm taking a shader brush and I'm gonna pat that in because of the texture, I feel a throw off better applying it in this way than me trying to blend it in initially. And then I'm gonna go back with my way number four and diffuse whatever traveled high. I'm just gonna help diffuse that in. Whoa, that's gorgeous. I love it. I, you know what? We're gonna have to do it. We're gonna have to go in with Interstellar. The blue, the blue purple magic shade. Absolutely. I got my Fix Plus on standby just in case, but I want to, you know what? I'm not gonna be silly. I'm gonna use my finger like this and just take it right. Oh my God, what is happening? That is gorgeous. Whoa. I'm very curious and I wanna go in with Metropolis, the purple shade here. I just want to see how it layers. So I'm going to go in between Interstellar and Dark Matter and kind of make a really cool gradient with this. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's pretty. I'm looking like I came out of deep space for sure. Oh, that's a really beautiful color story. I love that. The smoke is on fire. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love that. What is that? Entice? I'm taking my pinky. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to be stupid. And I'm going to go in with a pencil brush. This is a Morphe E36. Just to get a more precise placement. So we got our inner corner highlight there. What to do for the lower lash line? You know what? I think I'm going to go in... I'm going to use my Smith 247. It's a thinner brush. It's more pinched. And I'm going to start dragging that on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to go in with Dark Matter and just do a little bit of sketching here so the V point looks connected. Oh, look at this eye. Oh my God. Now going in, same E36 pencil brush with interstellar and I just want to drag it across here just to pull the look together a little bit more. But what are we going to do 
with what is this called enraptured what do we want to do with enraptured i feel like we need to find a a place for it on this island you know what i'm saying maybe we just put it on the center you know how i like to do my spotlight lower lash line gig that's kind of pretty i think it kind of works out it's like melting together with the other shades working with them making some happen i'm taking a clean blending brush and i'm just going over the edges here to smooth them out oh that's nice look at that purple and that blue i love the gray the gray makes it very intense hello you can focus on me which one should we go in with next friends oh i wanna you know what? I'm gonna have to go in with Bronze Temptation. I wanna see these, these neutral shades, man. Oh, and I forgot to mention that these are actually magnetic. So you have that extra reinforcement of closure in addition to the bungee. All right, so we already prepped that lid. Now I wanna go in with Bronze Temptation. Definitely wanna try out that, that warm shade. I wanna do the warm shade. Definitely gotta make sure this brush is clean because we don't want any gray on this side. You know what I'm saying? Burning desire. Again, with my way number three. We got a little dust, but that usually happens with patch shadows. It's all good. Oh, yes. Okay. The transition shade we were waiting for Mother Pat all these years finally graced us with her presence. That just went on seamlessly and effortlessly. I mean, come on. No trouble at all. I love that. That's probably one of the smoothest mattes i've ever dealt with in pat mcgrath shadows i mean that was easy whoa okay got it noted definitely want to go in now with dark paradise and now i'll do that with me way number four all right we're getting some smoke man smoke's coming in real fast i don't know what maddie's up to but i hear a lot of noise back there oh god i'm gonna do it in her portion as well i'm gonna do my usual halo situation i love this color combination this is gorgeous Ooh, and like you know i don't know what it is with pat's uh neutral browns they just go on a lot deeper than they appear in the pan but i think this is like the one instance that they show up true to color for instance the first transition shade we applied look like what it did in the pan maybe in the pan it appears a touch lighter but you know she's gonna give you that color impact from the get-go there's no need to build up with bat mats i know we want to go in with that green so without further delay supernova here we come in a place that right in the center of my lid i don't ever know like the shine and the glitz from the shadow is outstanding if you do have a problem with transfer i would definitely recommend you go in with the glitter glue so you got a little more adherence going on the lid so it doesn't travel too high when you open your eyes. But I kind of want to go in with Copper too, Or was it Corruption? Did I do Corruption? I think I skipped a shade. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, you guys. Corruption. Oh. I wish I would have done that. Hold on, hold on. We're going we're gonna to abort. I have my wipe still. Uh, that is so funny. I got my wipe. We're aborting the mission. You know what? I want to see corruption. I have to I have to know. Not that Supernova isn't gorgeous, but I haven't encountered a shade like corruption from Pat Shadows as of yet. And that is definitely dual chrome. Do you see the shift between magenta and orange? You go like this, I go like this, it looks orange, you see that? And then when you turn Oh, hold on. Hold on. Let me take some concealer or rather my P. Louise that's still on my hand and I wanna block that out so we got a cleaner base to work with. I'm just gonna tap out the edges. <laughs> Going with my finger, corruption, here we go. Oh, oh, that, oh my God. The shift on this, I don't know, it's hard to see on camera. I'm trying to maybe move my head in some way so you could experience what I'm experiencing right now. I don't think I've ever encountered a duochrome shade in Pat Shadows. I think this is the first like duochrome shade she got in here. She has the duochrome toppers, right? The sh like Fire Opal for instance, but this is like a topper shade. I don't think she's ever had a duochrome metallic shade 
Oh man, that, oh my God, I can't take it. I really can't take it. Now with Provocatrix, Provocatrix, Tricks, the other duochrome, that's the lighter one, I'm gonna place it right to the inner portion. Oh my God, these pair together beautifully well. I mean, I mean, I went crazy, so, cause I'm using my finger and I should use a brush, but it's okay. I'm gonna press that in. Oh my goodness, I can't handle it, I'm dying. Dying, burning desire, number four, number lash line. Little bit of dark paradise. Also, because, all right, we've used, well, you know what? I'm just gonna go in with Supernova right there. Look like Christmas on my left eye. Now going in, pencil brush, Celestial, that very light champagne shade. I'm gonna hit that in a corner. Don't know if I love Supernova under my lash line. I just wanted to put it in the party. I'm going in with Dark Paradise to maybe add a little more, little more body that Supernova can stand on. You know what I wanna do? I wanna try Corruption Wet. I'm taking this on my Zoeva 234. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that really kicked up the shine, girlfriend. Now in with Provocatrix. Other side of my brush, little spritz. Oh, that's pretty. Oh yeah, we like that. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, here's how we look from far away. I could put mascara on. I know it's like helpful to see the finished look with a little bit of mascara. I don't know if I like, I do like the green. I think if I had both eyes done with the green under my lash line, I would like it better but because it's just one eye, looks a little strange. It's all good, I don't care. Just put a little mascara, make sure I don't get it all over. How crazy do I look without any foundation? Friends with these intense eye looks. I love this eye, I'm dying. I mean, I think I could have probably chilled with the blending a little bit because I think it traveled a little too high with the, the gray shade, Deep Space. If I used my number four, probably would have had a little more control over that. But you know, this is, I could do it again another day. Is that a problem? As for Metamorphosis, I will do another video. You know I'm more than happy to come back on here and get busy because listen, we gotta, we need to know what's up. And that's gonna be a fun look to do because there are no mattes in that palette is all metallic shades, but because her metallic shades are incredibly smooth, you can make an eye look happen just from those textures alone. They blend out easily, they don't skip, they don't drag, you just make it happen. And Pat knows, you know, she'll make it happen for you. I'm just not, I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna stay like this. Bring my lipstick on, cause I'm gonna take this off. I still have to like do my whole skincare routine that I usually do in the morning, but I wanted to hop on here because I thought the light was perfect. Just so you guys can see these eye looks. Let me know down below if you're thinking about getting anything from the Opulence collection. I, as you know, love Pat and I don't regret my purchases. I think these shadows, the color story, the textures, just everything, the concept behind how these palettes were arranged always blows my mind. I'm a huge fan of Pat and her vision. Everything that she has released thus far has been gorgeous. I don't have the highlighting bombs, which that's what Sandra used in her uh, recreation video of the looks that uh, the uh, Versace show in Milan. Maybe I'm thinking about getting those. In terms of what I've been blown away most thus far in this video i without a doubt the shade that i forgot to swatch corruption this shade right here you see it and it looks magenta it looks magenta it's gonna be a beautiful magenta color for mother pat no 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 she's duochrome she's duochrome like i said the depending on how you see her changing from orange to gold to magenta it's gorgeous and i think maybe my favorite shade out of the bunch thus far. I love Deep Space, I love the gray, slate gray, excuse me, that's more like a blue. Loving this shade here, and Interstellar is gorgeous. Like, Interstellar with the purple shade combined, I think it just gives that beautiful, deep, smoky eye. And I feel like I'm coming from outer space with this eye, for sure. If you are in the mood to do some Halloween-ish with that theme, then 
that palette's for you. Once again, friends, let me know down below if you picked up anything from Opulence. And until next time, that's a wrap. Thank you, friends, so much for watching. I hope this video helped. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And until then, I'll see you on here again with another demo, tutorial, get ready with me, or review. Take care, and I'll see you again soon.